What's going on everyone? Taylor Kyles here for CLNS Media. This week we're previewing the top five players at the top five positions of needs for the Patriots. And today we're diving into the edge defenders. Defensive line was one of the few areas of strength for the Patriots last season, particularly with Christian Barmore and Anthony Jennings enjoying breakout seasons and Devon Godshaw continuing to be one of the best nose tackles in the NFL. That said, things changed pretty quickly. With Matthew Judon out last season, it really showed the Patriots' deficiencies in terms of their number of reliable pass rushers. Josh Uche was expected to be able to carry some of the weight when Judon went down, but he himself had a bit of a down season last year, and you're not really sure what you're going to get out of him moving forward, although foot injuries did have some role to play in that, in addition to scheme, where he was often asked to contain quarterbacks rather than get after the passer. Outstanding run defender Anthony Jennings, who is in the same draft class as Josh Uche, is also going to be a free agent. And while I do think there's a decent chance the Patriots bring him back on a modest deal, you really can't guarantee that. Although, I think he should be a priority as someone who consistently made tackles in the backfield for the Patriots and was a consistent, game-changing presence. Even if the Patriots do bring back their young edge defenders, the Patriots could still use some depth when it comes to not only their edge position, but the interior of their defensive line, especially after they released Lawrence Guy to save themselves some cap space and allow him to find a spot elsewhere in the league. So here are some of the top options I think they could pursue to fill in that hole. First up, we've got three-time Super Bowl champion Chris Jones. Now, I admit Chris Jones is not the most likely of people on this list to join the Patriots, especially considering I'm sure he's hungry for another championship and may be on the horizon of signing an extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. That said, he is a proven game wrecker who was as valuable to the Kansas City's defense as Patrick Mahomes has been to Kansas City's offense. Now, Chris Jones hasn't been much of a contributor against the run, which is surprising for someone who's as dominant as he is, but his pass rush is undeniable and it's going to likely get him into the Hall of Fame. If Chris Jones does prove to be an unrealistic option, Dolphins defensive tackle Christian Wilkins would be a high-end backup plan. Now, Wilkins has been known as a run defender for most of his career, but he really turned it on as a pass rusher last season, where his explosiveness, combative hands, and ability to work on stunts in line games, which we often see from the Patriots, really got a chance to shine through. Now, when it comes to personality, it doesn't get much bigger than Christian Wilkins, and he's also been a captain for multiple seasons with the Dolphins, so pairing him with someone like Matthew Judon could just be ripe for content and a lot of laughs and enjoyment for Patriots fans both on and off the field. But again, if the Patriots want to get some high-end defensive talent on their roster, Christian Wilkins is one of the few options left on the free agent market who could potentially fill that void. Next up, we've got Daniil Hunter, the Vikings defensive end, who spent last season, or the past two seasons rather, in Brian Flores' defensive scheme, which is a pretty direct relation to the Patriots, as a lot of what they do is still pretty similar to what Flores was doing during his time in New England. Now, Hunter is up there in age, but he proved that he's still a game-wrecking presence who can contribute both as a run defender and as a pass rusher. He is more of a defensive end type, which would make him an interesting fit in a New England scheme that likes to have outside linebackers in the stand up role on each end of the line of scrimmage. That said, we have seen Dietrich Wise using that role plenty, so if the Patriots are interested in using Hunter as more of a four-down defensive end and are willing to move him around the defensive front in some of their odd packages, I think he'd be a really good fit. Next up, we've got Leonard Williams of the Seattle Seahawks. Williams is another well-rounded defender who can contribute both as a pass rusher and as a run defender, and has been pretty consistent throughout his career, despite the fact that it feels like he hasn't been valued up to his potential. Now, Williams is another guy who could line up at different parts of the line of scrimmage, although he is at his best as an interior defensive lineman. He is on the older side, and I'm not sure if the Patriots want to pay as much as he's likely going to get on the open market. But depending on how the market does shake out, if he falls into their price range, I think he's someone that they should definitely pounce for, especially if he's willing to take a more decreased role to preserve his health at his current age. Lastly, we've got Jonathan Grenard of the Houston Texans. Grenard is someone who steadily increased his production over the past few seasons and really turned it on last season, particularly as a pass rusher, though he did also make an impact as a run defender. Now, like Daniil Hunter, he's more of a defensive end type rather than a stand-up outside linebacker, but he's got an explosive first step, quick recognition, and I think could be a game-wrecking presence across from Matt Judon, who could contribute on every down. Testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. 
Pick more, pick less. It's that easy.